All right. To sync Ableton Live with Orchestra, it's really quite simple. You open up the preferences, go into the MIDI, and there you'll find Ableton Link. Make sure it's enabled. Uh, then you go into Ableton, you click Link, Make sure it says at least one link. I have multiple uh, apps running, so for me it says three links right now. And then if you go back into Orchestra, you will now see if we check the BPM meter up here in Ableton, it's synced together with Orchestra at 20 BPM. Rising it will also increase the the BPM in, in Ableton and vice versa. You can also go down here and, and, and change it. So, running the music from Ableton, I have it here. This now means that the beat is in sync with the LFOs and the sequencer in orchestra. So, where, whatever parameter you can map to LFO sequencers will be uh, synced up with Ableton. So for this one, we're going to check uh, to, to connect some of these parameters. There are different ones, maybe this one. So I'll go into LFO and I can choose the speed here. I'll set it to something faster. Maybe speed fast, go down to one bar. Something like that. Or we could also connect it to the sequencer. And here I can pick which of these parameters I want to uh, adjust. I'll take number five. Number six even more. Maybe not the five. Something like that. Something in here, maybe. And if it's too choppy, you can always go into Utilities. Here you can smooth out the value. This will interpolate between the values. We can also change the range. You can invert the value. Go all the way up. Something like that, maybe. And then let's sequence the shape. It can be on four steps maybe. We can have less steps. So every fourth is gonna change. Maybe we want to add something else, this one. I'll map it to the LFO. Keep it a little bit tighter. So easy like that, you have something mapped to the BPM. And if it goes slower, faster it's gonna stay in sync you can also add if we go out from this track could for example um, add an effect bus maybe something that flips the color or some uh, just steps through them feedback some feedback effect and we can have this go on a sequencer every eighth with four steps on the end of it. 
don't feel the amount does so much so we're gonna also adjust the mix we'll go in here add the sequencer i'm gonna do the same thing every eight four steps increase it on the last one and some smoothing on that short rise Could adjust the zoom maybe with an LFO random quicker maybe every eighth and now it's too much every fourth too much maybe one bar add something else into that mix color flip maybe I'm gonna change, I change my mind, change my mind. I'm gonna do the false color flip instead, like that, and put it in the beginning. The same thing here, center, like that. And then we just adjust the mix here, put it in the sequencer, put it some maybe, let's do nine steps, or uh, it's ugly, I do five steps. I want it to be a little bit asymmetrical, to have the kind of polyphonic vibe and not all the way up or we can actually i like to put it all the way up and then instead i adjust the max value something like that just throw in some color another cool thing you can do with the sink say you have a gift the effects app because there's some of the some old gifts that I added a long time ago I'm gonna pick this one it's actually a drawing I made and the gif first off I'll put it to blackout then I will zoom it out I will make the speed manual now time time will sh shift between the images like that so we can sequence this one I'll do eight steps and oh eight or every eighth and I'll do four steps and just sequence these That's nice. Maybe maybe some more steps. Let's do six steps. Maybe flip them around a little bit. Something like that. Throw it back in the mix here. And also change the blend mode I want it to come in from the center as well and change the fader so the fader is not going to adjust this anymore I'll instead run the fader with the sequencer and I'll do one bar with four steps and we just need to come in in the middle Pretty cool. Can I adjust the rendering? 69. Full screen it.
Thank you.